Hello everyone, I am Dr. Win Tran from WithMD.net. Welcome to Week 10 Medical Speaking Cardiovascular System. In this module, we will discuss about technique, tips in communication with patients presenting with cardiovascular problems. Well, first of all, when patients present with a cardiovascular problems, there are several things that you should consider. You have to be very sensitive because in this module, you're going to touch a patient in some very sensitive area. Therefore, your communication skill will play a role model to create a trust, a bonding between you and the patients. But first of all, make sure that whenever you examine the patient, or you palpate any prop in the chest area, particularly in female patients, you should let them know what you're doing. All right? And second thing, when you listen to the heart and the lungs, always listen directly to the skin. If you ever use a stethoscope and listen over a gown or over a patient clothes, you will fail the exam for sure. Uh, in US MOE step 2 CS, a lot of people they fail the exam because they listen to patient heart over the gout. Don't rush, you ask in a very polite and reasonable manner. The other thing about a uh, patient with cardiovascular problem is that sometimes they are very nervous to start with. Uh, so your attitude, uh, your behavior, your the way that you treat your patient will calm the patient down. All right. So in cardiovascular exam, there's a couple of things that I like you to know or to remember. The first one is the vital size. You should know this blood pressure, pulse rate, rhythm, and volumes. And you should know that the cardiovascular exam also included a lung exam. You should listen to the lung, and you should be able to assess the lung uh, along with cardiovascular um, examinations. There are three main basic components of a cardiovascular exams include observation, palpations, and auscultations. And usually uh, percussion is omitted. Um, we usually we don't percuss in cardiovascular examinations. So when a patient comes to the room, the moment they present with a cardiovascular issues, you should observe the patient immediately. You don't have to wait until you take off their clothes and look, look, and look at the chest. You observe how they breathe, um, what is, are they pale, how they look, and look at the gait. So those give you some idea how sick the patient is. Okay? Um, and make sure when they sit upright or they stand up, any problem with their uh, breathing, any difficulties. Now, when you observe the chest, make sure that you ask patient permission to take out their gout. And with female patient, you're going to ask them to take out a bra. But you just expose to the area that you interest, which is the heart. You don't need to expose everything. Now, in palpitation, um, you use your right hand usually put on the patient's chest and you feel for vigor or contractilities. You also make sure that the one way that I usually tell my student that you feel your heart, you feel your abnormal uh, patient, and then you can put your hand in a patient with uh, cardiovascular problems, and you can and you can tell the difference. Well, the other when you put on the right side, you look, you put your your palms on the left side, and you try to feel something we call uh, PMI or pulse maximal impulse. Uh, this is important because patient. If they have a long-lasting uh, high blood pressure, or uh, they have other current issues, you may feel the pulse either displaced in different different positions, or it's it's not palpable. Uh, one thing about auscultation in heart, uh, a lot of people today think with a newer technology, echo, MRI, heart, we uh, usually we we forget about. The, the, the arc of listening. But actually, if you just pay some basic attention, you can tell a lot about S3, S4, uh, as long as S1, S2. 
and that can get you a lot of idea of what's going on with the patients. All right. Um, so I just want to tell you uh, one thing when you put it about where to look at to listen to patient heart. Um, I usually I use the Manomics or physician take money. So aortic valve you start from here, and then pulmonics, and then mitral valve, and I know actually try cross and then mitral valves here. So all physician take money. So put together in cardiovascular patients, and make sure that you pay attention in observations, tell them what to do, listen directly in their skin, palpate directly in their skin, expose to the area of interest in particular female patients, and then include the lung exam during the examinations. Make sure you tell the patient what are you going to do each step. For example, you say, I'm going to palpate your heart. This is so true in female patients. If you don't do so, they may think that you either sexually harass or you do something wrong, and this is not good for you. All right? The assignment for this week module is chest pain. As you know, chest pain can present with many, many, many ways, uh, and many organs can present with chest pain. Not just the heart, but also the lung, GI, uh, and then also musculoskeletal system. So I like you to learn about chest pain that so we're going to present during this week. You will play a role as a doctor and will be a patient, but also some of your classmates will be uh, your patient for chest pain. Make sure you master skill of chest pain, know all the differential diagnosis of chest pain, make sure you know what are the signs for emergency uh, that if somebody present with chest pain. All right, and see you in class. Chào các bạn, đây là tuần thứ 10, chúng ta nói về hệ tim mạch. Có một vài điểm rất cơ bản khi các bạn khám bệnh về tim mạch. Nhất định các bạn phải nghe và khám trực tiếp qua già. À, có rất nhiều trường hợp chúng ta thường nghe, à, để ông nghe bên ngoài cái vải áo, khi mà các bạn ở bên Mỹ và các bạn thi USMLE Step 2, chắc chắn các bạn sẽ bị rớt. Cho dù các bạn có nghe được hay cỡ nào thì chăng nữa, thì việc nghe tim mà qua cái vải chắc chắn sẽ khiến các bạn rớt. Khi các bạn khám bệnh về tim mạch, nhớ nói cho bệnh nhân biết là các bạn làm gì. Ví dụ như là các bạn đặt tay đây, cảm nhận nhịp tim, cảm nhận độ rung của tim, nói cho bệnh nhân họ biết. Trong khám bệnh tim mạch, cái kỹ năng quan sát có lẽ là một trong những kỹ năng quan trọng nhất mà bạn cần phải biết. Tại vì khi mà bệnh nhân bước vào phòng, bạn phải quan sát liền xem mạch của họ như thế nào, sắc của họ như thế nào, ước chừng họ như thế nào. Và những kỹ năng cơ bản khác là kỹ năng um, sờ nắng và kỹ năng nghe là những kỹ năng mà bạn cần phải học theo thời gian. À, mặc dù kỹ thuật hiện đại chúng ta có thể siêu âm tim, có thể MRI tim, nhưng mà tôi nghĩ rằng cái kỹ năng nghe cũng là một trong kỹ năng rất là cần thiết cho bất kỳ các bạn cho dù bạn là chuyên khoa nào ít nhất nghe được à, tim S1, S2 okay. Trong tuần này chúng ta sẽ nói về à, cách giao tiếp với bệnh nhân khi mà họ bị đau ngực Tất cả các bạn sẽ học về đau ngực học về tất cả những triệu chứng những bệnh lý có thể gây đau ngực và chúng tôi sẽ là những bệnh nhân thầy cô giáo sẽ là những bệnh nhân và có thể là các bạn cũng sẽ là bệnh nhân và chúng ta sẽ nói về đau ngực trong tuần này Ok Chúng ta sẽ gặp các bạn cùng lớp.